Hello everyone, Anita here and welcome to another video. Today we are going to do something funny, I hope. <laughs> Uh, in the last fine liner video that I've done, because as you've probably noticed by now, I am going to be working in my sketchbook with all those colorful uh, fine liners um, that I got from Arteza. This is actually not a review video, so <laughs> this is just me using the supplies, pretty much. But in the last video, when I actually did the review, um, Eve Bolt commented that it would be a fun exercise to just take um, a fruit and a vegetable and kind of switch them around and you know just to try something different um, for an, as an exercise and ever since then I just I just I just had that in my head and I couldn't stop myself from I just had to get it out and so I've decided to just um, take this opportunity and sketch some carrots strawberries or strawberry carrots <laughs> Carberries? <laughs> I have no idea. But um, it actually came out so much harder than I expected because, you know, you expect, when you look at a carrot, you expect it to look like a carrot, right? It has to be orange and, you know, it has to look a certain way. And actually, as you will notice um, later, it's, yeah, kind of a, a, a tricky thing to switch them around. At least to me. So what I decided to do, as you can see, I have four carrot shapes at the top and then at the bottom I did four little kind of strawberry shapes, although at the moment they look like little turnips. <laughs> um, but so what I wanted to do is the top row was supposed to be the carrot shaped strawberries, while the bottom row are the um, Car uh, strawberry shaped carrots. Yes, I got that right. <laughs> so um, I'm starting at the bottom because these were a bit smaller shapes and I figured that um, I wanted to try it there first because what I'm actually doing here is that I'm using the fine liner uh, in a, several different ways. Um, and I will talk about it in a second. But what I'm doing is that I'm actually I wanted to see if it would um, kind of blend out a little bit with water if I could use water on top of it because uh, these are not water resistant. So um, it didn't come out as vivid because of course they are not meant to be smudged with water but it, it added a little bit of a you know like a little oomph I feel. It, it was definitely worth a try. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if I will be bothering with it the next time I paint something with the fine liners. So um, each of these shapes, each of the carrots and each of the strawberries, okay, and you know what I mean, each of the fruits and vegetables, I tried approaching them in a bit of a different way. Uh, I don't know if I, they, they kind of got mixed at some point, but what my uh, idea was that uh, the very first, like, as you can see, the two top uh, strawberry carrots they are red and then another two long ones are uh, kind of orange and that's the same thing at the bottom the two first ones are more on the orange side the two later ones are a bit more on the red side because I tried uh, to use a few different shades of I wouldn't say red that's the one thing that I really have a problem <laughs> with this set of fine liners is that there are no really proper reds there's just one red um, and after I already established the idea that I wanted to do carrots and strawberries, it kind of became a bit hard because there was not enough reds to do the strawberries. So I have pretty much one red and then I figured, okay, I'm gonna mix in a little bit of orange in different proportions. And so I have um, the very first... Uh, and it's called a long shape, okay? <laughs> I have a problem whether it's a carrot or a strawberry now. <laughs> the very long shape is a bit more on the... Um, it has a bit less red and the second one has more red and a bit of pink. Then there is one that has orange and then orange mixed with red and kind of see how these work together. Uh, the leaf part was a little bit easier actually because um, as you can see the long carrot shaped 
strawberries have strawberry leaves, so they have the little tuft at the top. That's dark green, and I, I made it on purpose that it was a dark green, just to have it. At least that's what I usually think when I think of strawberries. It's a very juicy red strawberry and has this juicy green top. So that's what I went for. I've added. This was actually the, the most straightforward part of this sketch. Just um, getting that, you know, just adding a little bit of color. And also the green smudges beautifully with, with, uh, with water. As you can see, this, of course, the sketchbook is not meant for water, uh, for water coloring of any kind. So I've used those little clips, book binding clips, I think they're called. Just, you know, the black clips to kind of keep the paper in place so that it wouldn't buckle. I hate buckling. I cannot work with buckling. <laughs> so as you can see, here I'm just adding the colors, kind of layering them, trying to um, just get something interesting. I was stopping myself from adding too much of a dark color. It's really easy to go overboard, I feel like, especially when you have so many different colors. I just want to keep adding and keep layering. But with the fine liners, I've noticed that actually less is more. Um, and I just can't, I can't keep adding because it will all become muddy. So, yeah. <laughs> so here I'm adding to the second one, I believe I've added a little bit more uh, of a darker red. The first one has a bit of a mix, uh, more red and a bit less orange. The second one has a, a red and pink, so it's like a more pinkish red. I wanted a cooler red. Um, it was a bit hard because that red that's in the set, it's, um, it's a warmer red. But I, I think it came out really interesting. Uh, I'm, I'm really, really trying to layer those colors. Uh, the nice thing about adding pinks is that the pinks are very uh, transparent and very light, and it's actually really easy to just pop them, you know, pop them in there. Um, and also because it became a very op like not opaque but very dark, I've decided to go for light, like white seeds. Um, they become a little bit less white because the um, the white gel pen it picks up some of that pigment <laughs> that's uh, in the fine liner and it just it mixes together and you get like this this pinkish shade which is not a problem to me I mean this is just a sketch it's <laughs> it's meant for fun so um, don't take this too seriously I mean I had <laughs> the blast painting it I'm really trying lately to just loosen up a bit more and just let myself just do crazy things like this um, so it's not even an exercise here about mixing the shapes it's an exercise for me about loosening up and just letting things go and just not worrying too much about things being perfect I mean that that's been a continuous theme throughout a few of later latest videos I'm trying I'm talking about you know how tired I am and how it's uh, I'm trying to loosen up and I'm, I'm continuing to do this it's working out it's it's becoming easier and I'm actually really happy of where I'm heading uh, with with my art now after I was done with the top row and now you can really see better what I meant by kind of differentiating the colors I just tried so that every single one of those strawberry carrots was a bit different and also I wanted uh, um, the first two to be more uh, strawberry colored while the other two to be more carrot colored and see if that would work better <laughs> so they basically just have those little seeds and the you know tufty tufty little um, top a green top so the the strawberry strawberry shaped carrots Wow, <laughs> we're a little bit more tricky because this you get carrots in that shape as well. So it was actually really hard to me, for me to make them seem to me like uh, like they were you know strawberries, but like you know what I mean. It's it's even hard because the top ones they're li uh, even though they are super long, they're a little bit more obvious what I wanted to do there. Whereas the bottom ones, they just look like tiny carrots, I feel. They're, they're, you can't really see if it's, that's a strawberry, but when you think about it, like logically, that's a strawberry shape, right? You, you could really easily like switch it up and you would have a strawberry. <laughs> so that was a little bit harder. I think the carrot uh, has a very, you know, sh the shapes that are different from each other, as in 
if it was for example um let me think if i made a kiwi or something like that in that shape of a little strawberry i think that would be much more successful than having you know a carrot in the shape of a strawberry just because the carrots already come in that shape so it's not really that surprising um now so for example like this one i'm doing right now it it kind of looks like a red beet <laughs> you know it doesn't really that second row even though it came out really nice i'm actually really happy how they look there's a cute little you know bulbs they didn't come out as as if they were strawberries and you know like carrots in the shape of strawberries so the the top row was definitely much more successful even though it doesn't look like anything <laughs> <laughs> but it was fun. It was definitely fun to draw this. And uh, because the uh, lower, the, the I, I had a lot more, um, I did a lot more figuring out during the top row. So the bottom row was just like copying more or less the top one uh, with just different colors. And, you know, I knew what I was doing by that time. So that one actually went much, much faster. And I really like those little uh, green parts on the on the tiny, you know, carrot strawberries. They're just so cute. <laughs> They're just so fluffy. Um, but yeah, but that's pretty much it, guys, for this video. It's a very short one. Uh, it's just a, like you know, a little adventure in my sketchbook, I suppose. <laughs> so, question for you guys: If you could mix different fruits and vegetables, what would you mix? Give me some ideas because I am so curious and, and you know, I want to actually paint more of those. Fine liner, more of those. <laughs> so yeah, thank you so, so very much for watching guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye!